go springtime in Boston. Head coach Mike Gambino and his 17th ranked BC Eagles are getting ready to host their first homestand of the season. It's an important three game set with ACC rival North Carolina State. Good to see you, boy. Gambino. Hey, let's go, Hank. Let's go, Hank. Helping coach Gambino manage today's game is his seven-year-old son, a frequent visitor to the BC dugout. Hey, Daniel, check out the new kicks. Shut up. <gasps> those things are awesome. How fast are you in those? Same exact. Same exact. Come on, that's not what you Yeah! Oh my word! Nick Wang thinks he jumped so high right there and he like didn't get off the ground. Nick Wang can barely jump over a piece of paper. <laughs> you can definitely jump higher than Nick Wang. Especially in those shoes, dude. Travis is gonna go up and hit double off the fence. There we go. I like that. He's a couple weeks away from hitting homers. You can you can you can pretend like you're ignoring me, but I'm chirping you and I know you hear it. Who me? Yeah, you. I swear to God. I didn't hear it. Come on, Trav. Come on, Trav. Travis Honeyman's three-run homer gives BC the lead, and starter Henry Leak turns in six innings of one-run ball. But in the eighth, tensions run high as the Eagles look to extend their lead. Oh, go, go, go! Damn! I got it, I got it, I got it! Hey, 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 I got you. Where do I go? You okay? You're, assume you're out. Do not react. Do not react. I don't want to have to get dumped. If you react, I'm going to have to leave. Don't react. Don't react. I got it. I got it. I, hey, I'm going to go talk to him about it. I'm just, I'm just staying here to make sure he doesn't react. Oh, you're good. And I just want him to see that I'm talking to you and stay calm. I told him I would talk to you because he thinks he's safe, and I can't let him get thrown out of this game. Yeah, I won't, and I won't, he's, I won't even look at him. That's, that that's what I'm saying. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Though BC doesn't score, the game is still theirs if reliever Andrew Roman can close NC State out in the ninth inning. Welcome to 34 Kirk. Home of seven of the eight guys who live here, all seniors, come inside. Off the field, many of the BC baseball team's upperclassmen and grad students live in off-campus housing. It's all part of the bird ball experience. We got four rooms, two bathrooms and a kitchen. Here's Barry's room. Welcome to go inside, nice and neat. Yep, sick room. I like this, right here. My grandma got me this for Christmas. Oh, Danny Boy's room. This is my room. This place, man. It's a castle. Big hat guy, big Sox fan. Uh, here are my golf clubs, my pride and joy. I like to make a lot of steaks. Big I steak like guy. Steaks. Dan likes setting off the fire alarms. I do set the fire rooms. alarm quite, quite often. Yep. Too much, actually. But. Coach Gambino is a true believer that if you bond off the field, you are going to bond in the dugout. So far, it's worked well for bird ball this season. Starting shortstop, fueling up. Yeah, yeah, room. Room. Got some teriyaki chicken, some crab rangoons, a little he lives, rice. He lives up. A couple upstairs. noodles. But everyone likes to hang out down here. We have yeah, the nice they, got, they got the bigger TV and, and the comfortable couches. It's pretty gross. <laughs> All right, if we make our way over here, this is our living room in the upstairs unit. Today's Tuesday. Usually it's spotless in here, I promise, Mom and Dad. And obviously this is where we eat all our meals. We hang out together in here. Um, upstairs, downstairs, and we bounce uh, back and forth, which is really, uh, really sick. Big Star Wars fan. Revenge of the Sith is my favorite episode. Anything that shoots, right? 
I don't want to hit you in the thing, but. Today, it's Boston College versus Harvard in the 2023 Beanpot Championship. It's a huge game for both teams, but especially for number 99, Robert Fisher, the Eagles' bat boy since 2019, and a big part of bird ball. Thank you, Robert. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's go. Go. This one comes down to the wire. It's tied at four in the bottom of the ninth when third baseman Nick Wang steps up to the plate with the bean pot trophy on the line. Let's go, bats come alive, bats come alive. I'm gonna go away with introductions. How no, are you doing, guys? No, 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 we can't. Hey, no, he hates no, this. Come on, he come hates on. this. He Let never just... lets me do this. I'm on the clock. Come on. The following day, head coach Mike Gambino <laughs> brings in a special guest to address the team: the winningest hockey coach in NCAA history and five-time national champion, the legendary Jerry York. Where's Mr. Wang? <laughs> when I watch that walk-off home run, especially Beanpot, uh, and the just a group hug there at the end. The guy's coming in from the bullpen running. And, I mean, that's our goal. And I, I think we get to that goal, you know, by certainly having all-stars. So I'm saying, be an all-star in your role. Take great, great pride in being on BC and, and being a terrific teammate. Don't be satisfied with, hey, we've got a good team. Hey, you know, we won. Well, we beat Dartmouth, we beat Harvard. We've, we're on a roll here a little bit. But you know, push yourselves to be great. I think that's that's really, really important. But you also gotta be thinking about NCAA banners. Wouldn't that be neat out there? Boston College, 23, NCAA Natty Champions. You're looking right at Duke here, coming up, but you also look at that banner, huh? Yeah, you got that banner up there. Okay. So have a good afternoon, huh? Everyone on the Boston College roster is a student athlete. This season, 11 of them are freshmen. They all live on campus and are busy with baseball, school, and a lot more. As I'm walking to class, look who I see in here. The man, Connor Dreyer, getting his work in, in English class. This is class. Say what up, guys. What's up? I'm here at the dining hall. Freshman pitcher AJ Calaruso. Freshman pitcher Bobby Chicoin. All right, we just finished dinner. Now we're heading back to Upper Campus where we live. I think a bunch of people on the lawn, hanging out, playing spike ball, doing some homework. Let's Woo! Yeah. So right now I'm on uh, Upper Campus. It's where about like 60% of the freshmen live. Um, typically all athletes are on uh, upper campus. All right, see you, man. I'm back to the dorm. This is kind of where we all stay. Nice little view. You can probably not see it the, of the Boston skyline. All baseball players live on upper campus. So it's easier to get to the field, get to lift, get to work, get to uh, class that way. I'm recording everything. We're, 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 we're done. No, we're getting really good content. You can't hang out with the girls, you have to write your paper. <laughs>
I'll just take the late Bye. submission. He literally said no. he is not accepting late. Oh, okay. okay. We got to start this up. Here's the crib. Here's the room. This is my side, a little messy. Jason's side. I'm going to relax in here for a little bit. Get some homework done. Just wrapping up a little late night essay writing for engaging Catholicism. Um, me and the boy just got done hanging out. And, uh, taking care of a little schoolwork. Um, we're about to hit the sack. What's up, Bird Ball? Good morning. It's me and Ryan DiMaggio. Back at it. Getting ready for today's game against uh, Duke. Today's a really special day. We're playing our uh, marathon, our marathon game for them. It's our first, show the hoodies, show the hoodies, first show the hoodies. annual one. We got these sick hoodies that we're repping today. It's a big game. Game bigger than us in our program, so ready to get after and get a win. It's a special day at the Diamond. The Eagles are facing Duke in a crucial ACC matchup, but they're also marking the 10-year anniversary of the Marathon bombings with special uniforms. And William Evans, current BC police chief and former top cop in Boston, is throwing out today's first pitch. Whatever happens, happens. As long as I don't throw my back out. Nobody here is Jeter. <laughs> I threw it out at the Red Sox yeah. one game. I threw out when I retired. They had me throw from the Red Sox before. Yeah. There was a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, this is one. easy after you've done Fenway. Yeah, Boston College's Executive Director of Public Safety and Chief of Police, William Evans. In front of a record crowd, things start out well for the Eagles, but Duke answers with six runs to take a big lead until the bottom of the six when the BC Bats come alive. Boston College scores seven runs in the inning, then turns the game over to reliever Andrew Roman in the seventh to try and lock down the win. Let's go, Roman! Let's go, Roman! Let's Finish go, up right here, let's go! Every baseball game is just this feeling like, hey, we're gonna figure out a way to win this baseball game. And as soon as you get out of it, we're just okay. And you're too good to be just okay. You guys see this atmosphere today? Gentlemen, you did that. Hell yeah. You did that. That's special. Well done. The Boston College baseball team plays and practices at the beautiful Harrington Athletics Village on BC's Brighton campus. It's a very long way from their previous home at Shea Field. When all of us think about Shea Field with a birdcage as it was affectionately known, I think it's a bit of a love-hate relationship. And we know that we have the worst facility in college baseball. So when you're winning on it, it was, it was awesome. The, the hate part of the relationship was, yeah, we didn't have a place to practice a lot, in the, both in the fall and the spring. We didn't have a place to hit a lot. In 2018, the BC baseball and softball teams moved into Harrington Athletics Village with turf fields, indoor batting cages, huge new locker rooms, and much, much more. It was a true game changer for the entire program. When I first got here, we were in a, in a tiny locker room with squeezing 40, 40 guys into this locker room with these metal lockers all lined up next to each other. Going to now, we have this huge locker room downstairs with so much space. That's been unbelievable for all of us and it just makes us want to be here even more. It's been a complete 180. Now we have this beautiful facility with this beautiful field. Um, just allows us to, to compete and, and get better every day. 
to have a weight room on site, to have turf so you can go throw in any weather, it doesn't matter. It just makes it a one-stop shop for everything and, and it encourages us to come back and support and be around the guys and, and just give back. But you think about how much in five years we went from literally not a baseball field to the new Pellegrini Diamond, to, you know, building Harrington Athletics Village, and, and then the P. Frady Center. It's not comparable. It's, it's a completely different program. That's what got us from the point where we were to the point we are now. Having lost three of their last four, Birdball is now on the road for a crucial three-game ACC series against the North Carolina Tar Heels. It will be an especially tough task this weekend as the Eagles have never won a game at UNC. This you know, is one of those massive weekends. We are a game ahead of North Carolina, I believe, right now in the conference. But the biggest thing in our conference is um, I mean, yes, winning the conference is great and important, but it's a chance to go to all. It's giving the national tournament a chance to go to Omaha. Here we go. We got uh, game one here at UNC. Birds versus the Tar Heels. We got a good game here. I'm excited. Let's go, Bird Bowl. The Tar Heels put up six in the first to take a commanding lead, but the Eagles chip away and eventually tie things up. That's the way it stays until the top of the ninth inning when Cam Leary comes to the plate. BC, however, cannot hold the lead as UNC ties the game again in the bottom of the ninth. So it's on to extra innings, where the Eagles put two men on base for sophomore shortstop Sam McNulty. It's a huge milestone for BC baseball as the team records its first ever victory at UNC. And after all the fireworks on the field, the guys can really enjoy the post-game celebration. Rain delays are a part of the baseball experience. The weather holds up the start of game two in the series. But the boys, they have a creative way to pass the time. A little rain delay, a little tic-tac-toe, a little league trick. Yeah, oh, there, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. yes, yes. Or, yeah. yes, yes. And then he's going to go here, you go here. No, 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 no. No, 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 he's going to no, yeah, 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 yeah. stop it. He's going to block move. this yeah. one. He has yeah. to make a move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo! Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Once the game gets underway, BC finds itself trailing late. When Cam Leary does his thing once again, this time it's with bases loaded. Carolina is a tournament team, we're a tournament team. You know, now it's this is about fighting for seeding in the ACC tournament, fighting for a spot in seeding in the NCAA tournament. Bird Ball is now looking for the sweep, but for the third time in three games, they are down in the late innings. And once more, that's when the Eagles' offense comes alive. Come on, man. Come on, go. See, honey, no funny. Let's go, baby.
Bear. With the tying run at the plate, the Eagles' defense comes through to close out this historic weekend and give BC its first ACC series sweep in six years. It's been an incredible season so far, but now, Bird Ball heads into the home stretch, and they have a lot more to prove. You as a group, when you're having a blast and let yourself play baseball, it's so good. Don't mistake having fun for not trying to win. Don't mistake having fun for not caring, that's not what it is. But it's enjoying that. Because when you do that, it's fun to watch, it's fun to be part of, and you come in here, right? And you take it serious, super serious, and with potential Omaha club. Really hard to do. At this ballpark, in this league, it's really hard to do. Yeah, boys. Hey! Yes, yeah. Yeah.